do why do we prefer ads or sponsorships over donations um because we feel that a lot of the audience like part of the audience a good part of the audience um shouldn't um can't afford donations or has better um you know uses for their money uh and it's for us easier to just get our money through ads that they can watch and doesn't cost anything to them i don't know yeah like the idea is that um for for donations yeah you're kind of um asking people if they can afford it or in subs if they can afford it to to uh, give you money and it's great if they can then we're grateful if, if, when we get them but why not also why not like give them another option yeah, I, I feel like there, it's, there's a lot of angles to donations. Maybe that's something we should talk about. Maybe that's something we should just do, like, a, a stream on donations. Like, the thing is, if we get zero donations, we'll, we'll be okay. Like, yeah, we'll manage. Yeah. All right? Um, so, yeah, it's, we definitely appreciate people, if they want to give us their money and send us, like, you know, some love and send us, like, a message they really want us to, to, to see... Um, thank you, right? Thank you. Um, but a lot of streams operate to basically milk as many donations as possible, and we didn't want to be one of those streams. Um, there's there's a lot of streamers who like don't understand this concept that when someone donates to them, it's someone else's money, right? And I don't like being aggressive on donations. Because at the end of the day, that person might need the money more than the streamer. And actually, most of the time, that's exactly the fucking case. But they kind of get a bit, because, you know, you, know, you might have TTS or you might have something. They might get a bit um, uh, caught up in the moment. I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's, it's nice to be able to say to someone that tells me, send me a message and says, Hey, I'm sorry, I can't afford to sub, but thank you for all your content. I feel good being able to tell them back, you know, you don't need to sub, it's perfectly fine. Even watching the stream helps. And it actually helps. We're also aware that the people that get the most donations uh, generally are like, uh, what do they call them, simp streams? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> or they are playing games which generally get a really young audience and like someone who's like 13 years old donating to their favorite streamer it's really easy to be generous with someone else's money like mom's if money yeah mom's money like if think of it this way it'd be really easy for me to donate a million dollars to charity if i was using bill gates's money right it's, re <laughs> it's really easy so it'd be like here you go Million, million bucks. Yes, give me praise. Yes, praise. Yes, I did it. Uh, uh, million what, bucks. I, I, what about if you're using Jeff Bezos' money, though? Million bucks. Jeff Bezos, thank you. No, I'm giving you a nice pass for private up. Oh, private up. <laughs> well, we, 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 our compromise for this is, yeah, we, we advertise Twitch Prime a lot because we know that especially our people in our audience, which is like grown-ups, like our average viewer is 30 years old. They probably already have a Prime. They probably already have... They probably have Amazon Prime. And, we're, not, we're not even asking for their money. And also, the Prime, the Prime thing doesn't um, renew automatically the sub. Yeah. So, a lot of time, like, if you don't f remind people, uh, they like, it won't renew automatically. They have to go every month and actually sub with the Prime sub. So, I don't know. I mean, and, like, is it... We, we really try to keep some kind of balance. So that's how we started the channel. We didn't want to base it off. Also, there's another thing. Subs and donations, if you want to actually get like a, a bulk of them, like a, a good deal of them, they're very disruptive to the stream. And we believe that they're more disruptive than ads and sponsorships. Because ads, he tries to play them um, in... Um, uh, in between games uh, and right now they're also like for tweets they're doing the um, um, picture in picture and stuff they're rolling it out so does that work? Hmm? does that work? they're rolling it out okay so they, they won't be even, even then disruptive 
I do think though that having like a TTS and this is the way to get donations like let's not kid ourselves uh, having a TTS um, on stream is uh, is just annoying after a while well it's, a, it's annoying and not only annoying like a, a, it's liability too it is liability because you can never know what they're gonna say on stream and if it is like racist and stuff I don't know it's just too much of a headache when we can get good money with different ways that we feel that our audience is okay with. TDS is text to speech. Yeah. Uh, I, I think there's a bit of an exception to that. I think there are some streams, like, like there's some IRL streams, all they do is like watch YouTube videos all day. Where, to be honest, it's not disruptive when they get a TTS okay, donation. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's it is, fine. But, it but is honestly <laughs> the best content on their stream. It's a whole different stream, though. Right, but like if if we're playing a, if we're playing a game and like the first the first point of the stream is to play the game and interact with people, then yes, that is disruptive. But if you're like literally doing fucking nothing but watching YouTube videos for stream content, I think that's actually a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I, I think TTS donations is more or less okay. But I think streaming in that manner is a little bit less okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I would say percentage. Like, a very rough estimate would be probably 40% is tweets. Maybe 30 YouTube and 30 sponsorships. But it really... It depends wildly. Like, this is like a, just a very rough percentage. Yeah. Um, I think uh, it, it, uh, that would be like over a year. Um, over months, it can vary very differently because very much because um, ads are always more expensive around holidays because mm. people are get more like spendy around the holidays. So advertisers also want to show their products and yep. draw. But uh, to circle back on donations, we talked about an article about how some like what was it, like twelve or thirteen year old kid. Um, his parents discovered that he gave streamers, what was it? Was it $20,000? $20,000. $20,000 he gave to his favorite streamers. Yeah. His parents just discovered it. Okay. You, you have to think about that. Like, think about the perspectives here, right? Like, on one hand, you have the streamer. It's like, yes, $20,000 in donation. <laughs> oh, yes. This is yeah. awesome. Woo! Best day ever. All right. The, the article didn't mention if it was one streamer or several, and it didn't mention if it was one donation or several. Yeah. But, yeah. But, like, think of the other perspective. Like, streamers are in such ignorance, right? Like, if you're a Fortnite, like, it actually said Fortnite streamers, by the way. To yeah, yeah, it did Fortnite say Fortnite streamers. Yeah, and no joke. Like teenage No joke. So, the, the average Fortnite viewer is, like, 14 years old, right? So, like, yeah. It's they're, not teenagers. They're donating their parents' money, right? Yeah. So, you're a Fortnite streamer. You're like, yes, this month I made $30,000 in donation, and one guy gave me 20000 Wow, so nice. But, like, this, this, kid's, this kid's, like, pre-adult life is, like, ruined. He's, like, lost the trust of his parents. His, his parents might face, like, financial ruin, right? Like, that's, that's the side that, like, it's like, oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, that, that's kind of bad, right? But, like, the Fortnite streamer is like, yeah, 20,000 donation this month. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, you're like the fucking, well, what is it? The, the, the yeah man. Uh, is it the Kool-Aid? The Kool-Aid man? I don't know. He breaks yeah. through a wall. I don't He's know. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> like that. That's like the Fortnite streamer, right? That's why we don't want children. Oh yes. yeah, I don't want my children. To and like you, you literally have a family in ruin on the other side of that. Just so you guys understand the perspective, like when you get a donation, you are getting someone else's money. Okay, that that's the end. That's the end of it. So yeah, we're, we're always going to be more comfortable finding other revenue streams. If people want to donate, thank you, right? Thank you. But like... If, we don't want them to feel urged to do that, like... And we don't want you to regret it at the end of the day. Yeah. If you do that, thank you. And that's it. I don't know. Um, and we kind of hope that they understand that, yeah, we also need to make money out of streaming, so we take on sponsorships and play ads. Yeah. Um, over under, how many families has Ninja financially ruined? <laughs> I don't know. Some. Some. 
I just don't get how parents give kids access to such money. I don't know, but I think kids can be very resourceful. I don't know if they gave them access. They want you to willingly put yourself into poverty to donate to them. Don't feel pressured. The reality. Yeah. No matter what you do, you will always get someone else's money. Well, um, I do think that the donation culture, though, is a bit... Um, like might push you to donate when you can't afford it. Because, as I said, donations are usually done in the spur of the moment, um, for TTS, for fun. You kind of feel it because everyone is doing it that you also should do it. So it's not exactly like a, you know, a wise... I donated $25,000 to Crypt five years ago. Can I have it back, please? <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. El Bardo. Thanks no, so much. No, you didn't. Sorry. Five years ago was our all-time lowest donations. We, about five years ago, I remember, because this is like the first time we like did taxes together because it was a bit more complicated, and I wanted to show you how it kind of worked. Yeah. Um, we went over donations and stuff for taxes, and there was one month where we made no donations. A month. Th 30 days streaming. Like, I think at the time we were streaming eight hours a day. So eight hours of a day streaming every single day for a month, total donations for the month, zero dollars. Thank you for subscribing. Right. And that's fine. XBJ that's Conan. Fine. No problem. Thank you. How we got such a large viewer base? Are we really that likable? Are we? <laughs> it's my. <laughs>